Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is No Code School and today we're going to be showing you how you can create a client portal for your business with software and Airtable and also how you can use Watts form to integrate your customers from WhatsApp directly into this client portal. So our workflow for this video here today goes like this. We start out with Watts form in which we create a form for our potential customers which is then shared to them. These customers fill out the form with their respective details and these details are recorded by the database in Airtable which is linked to our client portal in software. So let's get started. Before we jump into the video, we've seen a lot of the people who watch our videos are not actually subscribed. So if you like what you see here and want to see more, please consider subscribing as it helps us out a lot. So here we are on software.io which is a no-code tool that allows us to build custom apps for your business. And here it says you can turn your Airtable or Google Sheets into client portals which is exactly what we're going to be doing. So let's get started by logging into software here. So once you've logged into software, this is your dashboard. And as you can see here, you have a few templates. What we want to create today is a client portal. So let's select that right here and use template. And here we see it's asking us to connect to our Airtable. So what we have to do is go to Airtable here and sign in here as well. And here now we've logged into Airtable. So what software is asking us is the Airtable API key from our Airtable account. So we go into Airtable, go up here to the top right, click your account button and go into account. And here we can see API and this is our API key here. So we take this and copy it and paste it into our software right here. And now our Airtable is connected to software. And what you want to do next is copy the template base, which is the template database that software provides us with for our client portal. So we're going to copy base to our Airtable account. And there we go, it's asking us which workspace we want to add this base to. We choose our workspace from the drop down list and add base. And there we go, here is our client portal database with the various fields. So now we go back into software and create application. And here we have it. This is our canvas with our base client portal application. Let's leave this here for now and go into Airtable. Here we have our default client database. But we're also going to show you how you can add clients into this database with Watts form. So here we are on Watts form, which allows you to build forms without code and get the data directly from the customer's WhatsApp number. So we're going to log in here as well. And here we go. Once you've logged in, let's create a new Watts form and enter in your WhatsApp number and click next. And we're going to start from scratch. So what we want to do is create a Watts form for your clients. So we come back here into our client portal database and let's choose a few of these fields to include in our Watts form. So we can add name, email, phone number and company and company website to our Watts form questions. So let's add that right here. So we've done a video on Watts form on our channel before, but we're just going to show you real quick how to create a Watts form. So you have these questions over here, which you can just directly drag and place onto your form. So let's scroll down here to title and let's add that into our form and let's just make this client details and just like that you can add various questions into your watts form so we start off with the name of the client so let's go and add that there and then their email phone number for company name we can make it a text input and for the company website as well we can make it a text input and now let's edit these so we go there is our basic watts form made in seconds. So what we can do now is publish this watts form and now it is published. So now you can come over here to share and you get a link to your watts form and you can share it through these various modes. But before we send out our watts form to potential customers, we want to link it to our air table here. So you go over here into the settings of watts form and go into integrations. And here we have webhooks, which allows us to send what's form responses to external servers, which in our case is Airtable. So you click connect over here. And here we need our webhook endpoint URL, which is our Airtable. So let's go into Airtable here. And here we have our database. So over here, you come up to automations. And this is where the various automations for our database are housed. So we start off by adding a trigger over here. And we scroll down here to see when webhook received, which is what we need. So we click that and here we can see our webhook endpoint URL is right here. So we copy that 
and paste it into our what's form settings there we go and now we need to add keys for each of the questions that we have in our what's form so let's add that name the key can be name and similarly we add for each of the questions in our what's form there we go we've added keys for each of the questions and now we can save and let's just test the webhook to see if the request is sent successfully which it has see we can see the test results the step was successful and now what we want to do is once the trigger is received we need an action to be run and the action we need is create a record so now when a webhook is received a record will be created let's configure this action over here we select a specific table which is people and choose the various fields which need to be updated when a what's form response is received so let's choose the field here here we have name and let's add the other fields as well email phone company and company website now we have the exact fields which are included in our what's form now in each of these fields we come over here to the plus icon and this is where you link the Airtable field to the what's form question. So over here we have insert value from field. We select this and this is name. So we choose name. And this name is the key for the name question that we set up here. Here name is name. And similarly over here, name is name. And similarly you add that for each of these fields. In phone number you change it to dynamic. And then you add the question key. So there we go. Now we've linked the Airtable fields with the what's form questions. So let's switch on this automation. So now our automation has been set up and is switched on. So we can go to our what's form here and let's enter a response into our form here. So we go to the form link and let's enter in some random details. There we go. There are some random details which you can submit on WhatsApp. And here when you submit these details, if you come back here to our Airtable here, you can see that that data has been added into our client portal database. So that's how you link your what's form responses to your Airtable with webhooks. So now if you go into your software studio here, here is our template for our client portal. So if you publish this as is and go to the domain that this app is hosted in, we can log in here and use the default manager login that they provided and if you go over to clients here and scroll down and there we go here is the client that is added through the what's form and if you click on this card here you'll be able to see the various details that were given in the what's form so that's how you link up your what's form responses to the air table which in turn updates your software portal so now that we've seen how you can add your customers directly from WhatsApp into your client portal, we can get into actually customizing the client portal on software for your needs. So for our use case today, we're going to be considering a construction business, which will invite construction projects from its various clients. So let's customize our client portal here to reflect this construction business. So here we see this is what our client portal looks like right now. Here at the top of the page, you have various navigation bars for the consultants, managers, this one is for users that are not logged in and this navigation bar is for the clients. So the way you edit this is by clicking on this element here and over here you have a menu that pops up. You can see the different features, the styles and the visibility. So on the features over here we see you have the logo and the links that are on the navigation bar such as this project overview, clients, team and invoices. And then we have our user profile as well. And similarly in the non-logged in users you just have our services and the login button we leave all these links on the navigation bar the same but let's change up the color of this navigation bar you can come here and move to a there you go that orange seems nice let's copy that and let's add it to each of these navigation bars there we go and now we come down here to this text so you just click on this element here and here you can see we can change the text so let's give our construction company a name let's say it's called woodworks inc and the subtitle can be and let's leave this image here as is and here we have the services we offer part and just like before to edit this you just click on the element you want to edit and you can change whatever you want 
So here we have services we offer. So if we come down here, you can see the image and the name. We can change this to construction projects. And the second one here, we can change this to custom designing. And the last one here, you can change it to, and there you go. That's how you edit elements in Softer. So now this is our home page. Similarly, you can check the pages tab and see all the different pages on your client portal and edit them as needed. Here we have our clients page and our invoices page over here. You can just click on whatever you want to change and edit it in the menu on the side. And also if you want, you can change the theme of your website. Here you can see the typography, the text size, the heading font weight, color, body font, body weight, color, etc. And if you come over here to users, here is where the permissions for the different users are granted. So here we have users and user groups. These are the different types of users that we have in the client portal as default. Logged in users, clients, consultants, managers, etc. So you come over here to users. And if you wanted to add users manually, you could come over here and click add users and give the first name and the email. And they will be sent an email invite with a temporary password or a magic link that will allow them to log in without a password. You can also import users with a CSV file here. And here in the settings tab, you have your general custom domain, integrations, user groups and permissions. And when you're eventually done with editing your client portal, you can preview it here with this button. Just like this, here we have Woodworks Inc and the various services that we offer. And we can see this in desktop view, in tablet view, and in mobile view. And here we can also log in with the pre-given credentials. These are given in the template, but don't forget to remove them when you're actually creating your client portal. So let's log in here, just for example, as a manager. And now we can view the client portal as a manager. So you can see all the projects here the various clients, uh, team and invoices, etc. So when you're done editing your client portal and you're happy with the result, you can publish your client portal. You can publish it to the software.app domain or you can click here to add a custom domain. But for now, we're gonna publish it on the software.app domain. We're gonna publish and now we can open in new tab the link to our client portal and here this is our client portal in action so there you have it that is how you can create a client portal for your business on software.io and also how you can add your clients directly from whatsapp into the software client portal so thanks for watching this video we hope you learned something here today if you liked it don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel it really helps us out a lot if you have any no-code tools that you'd like us to cover, please leave them down in the comments below. Once again, thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.